go. Little though. Maybe a little bigger than I thought. Oh, I like it when they grow. So often they do the exact opposite. You know, like you think they're giant. Oh, he's gonna jump. <laughs> you think they're giant. And then, as they get up, you're like, hey, it's not so big. And this is a tip in itself, literally. I mean, if you're not gonna have a net, and when the water starts to get a little bumpy, always go to the lowest point in the boat to grab your fish. Just because you're, you're bending over a lot less. Come here. You'd be better at it than I am right now. Oh, man, that is a nice one. <laughs> I like it when they do that. I like it when they, they grow on the way up. Ooh. You know, days like today, basically what they do on Erie in a weird way is they, they help you appreciate it a little bit because I tell you, this fishery is so good. All these, you know, Great Lakes, super smallmouth fisheries are so, so good that, that you almost disrespect the fish. I mean, that is a beautiful, beautiful small job, but there's plenty of days you go out here and you ain't even looking at that fish. Yawn. Get on down to the bottom. That's a cool thing, too. You know, the big debate, everybody talks about fizzing fish. You know, if you catch them from deeper water, that fish was in 40 feet of water. But the thing is, the only time you need to fizz them is after you put them in a live well. So if you're just fun fishing like this, if you're not in a tournament, you're not going to keep the fish to hold or anything like that. Let them go immediately. They don't need fizz or anything. They just power their way down. <laughs> and they stay down there and they continue to grow and get bigger and bigger. Let's get more. More! be honest you know whether you're river fishing or you're in a giant lake like this Great Lakes fishing the biggest thing that that is forgotten about is just how much ground you're covering because whether it's you know a river like the Niagara River or whether you're in the Great Lakes here and you're dealing with waves like this you're moving a lot quicker than you think I mean, other than when you're on spot lock, you're covering a lot of water out here. And don't get stuck thinking, you know, you're slowly picking a tiny area apart. Unless you're locked down, I mean, you're moving in the Great Lakes. And moving is not always a bad thing, especially when the fish are not concentrated like they are here today. I mean, there's times when all these fish are just grouped together. The fight gets so much easier just because they're co competitive with each other. And then on top of that, you know, you can target them a lot better. Days like this, covering water, covering area, is definitely going to turn the odds in your favor. There's only so much you can cover with a cast, but on a giant playing field like this, you can cover a ton with movement. <laughs> 